Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. Just got a box from FedEx, and it is from Hazard 4. So, I wonder what could be inside. So I'm not going to waste any time, I'm just going to open it up right now for you guys. Hopefully everything's going to be in frame. I know people complained about my, one of my last unboxings like this. Everything's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to do my best. Alright, I'm going to have my Ultra Tech. I have a video coming up soon of me taking one of these apart. Alright. Who says you can't everyday carry an Ultra Tech? Alright. So first thing, they sent a few catalogs. Very nice. Yes, so you can give these out. Wow. I actually wasn't sure that they had catalogs. Very nice. I have to give that a look through later. So I got three of them. That's pretty cool. All right, so what is this? Something I've been very excited and anxious to try out for a while. So I'm gonna take it off camera for a second and open it. Kinda make it a little bit more suspenseful. Oh wow. It is the Hazard 4 Switchback. Get that box out of the way. Look at that bad boy. Oh man. All right, so as you can see, the pockets are kind of oriented to be uh, used as it's a sling pack, like the um, Plan B. So it's kind of oriented for, you know, the pockets are kind of like the Max Edition Sitka. They're, they're, used, they're oriented to be used when this is up against your chest, slung around. Oh, wow. All right, right off the bat, it's got that giant rubberized handle. That's really cool. Very comfortable, too, to carry that. Shoulder strap is perfection. It's that nice padding. I'm sorry, hit the camera. Okay, the, the button is a lot more, um, not sticky, but it feels more like a switch. <clears throat> I mentioned in my Plan B review that my the button on mine was kind of had a little play in it. That was really nice. The shoulder strap here. Or, I'm sorry, the cross strap. Okay, it looks like you can remove it and put it somewhere else. I'm not really sure. Maybe you can take this off completely if you don't want it. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to read up about it. This is completely new to me. This is a new product of theirs that just came out this year. Been really wanting to try it out. Okay. Here's the backing of it. Actually, let me take that return to that cross strap off. Here's the back padding. Really cool looking. It's almost futuristic in design. But it's that same kind of thermo molded um, foam. Or not thermo molded. What do you call it? Anyway, it's just foam. It's exactly like the one on the back of the EVAC Plan B. That's neat. They got their rubberized logo down here. Along with um, right here in the front. That's really cool. So anyway, here's how it would look on your back. Is that supposed to be riding? Huh, that's also interesting. These zipper pulls at the top have shrink wrap tubing around them. Huh, I wonder why they did that. I don't know. Maybe so it doesn't get caught in the zipper. I don't know. Right, I'm going to open it up and show you guys. Let's see. Okay, it's got this bungee strap. I'm not sure what this got these little bungee straps right there. I'm not really sure what those are for just yet. But anyway, as I'm still learning, it's got the four retention straps, just like the EVAC Plan B, the compression straps. Look at that. It's got molly all down the side, just like the Plan B. It's got, cup, it's got the, uh, the bottle holders, just like the Plan B. Oh, I know what this is for. I think this is for your cup. You have a cup in there to retain that. Anyway, I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. Alright, so unzip this front panel. And it only it opens up like this, kind of like um, some of the stuff like I saw on the Sitka. Kind of opens up halfway. That's really neat. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. It opens up all the way. But it opens up like a tray. Wow, that's really neat. So it's got that map sleeve. Or you can put papers in there, documents and stuff. 
that's, that's what's on your chest. It opens up like that, kind of like an admin pocket. Like I mentioned in some of my, my um, admin pouch reviews. That's kind of neat. I like that. Anyway, this is kind of like your admin pocket. No, you know, speaking of which, put all your pens and paper and all that stuff in. Let's see, Hazard 4 right there. It's also a little pouch. That's really neat. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna zip that back up. I'm gonna show you the main, the main compartment. I'm, I'm really digging this so far. This is really cool. Um, actually, what's, is this like the CCW pocket? Oh, it's for the water. Okay, that's right. I remember seeing that in the video for the water bottle holder. So you can go from a 24 ounce to a 32 ounce water bottle. You just unzip that to give it some extra slack. Okay. That's, that's pretty clever, actually. Okay. Still trying to figure out this system. Anyway, let's open up the main pocket here. Show you guys. Sorry, I'm hitting the camera. It's really hard to do these unboxings with the big backpacks and keep it all in frame. All right. It's exciting. <laughs> all right, so this, this pocket, the main pouch, does open di uh, diagonally. You see, it doesn't, it unzips further on this side than it does over here. But you do have a um, mesh sleeve right here. Two zippers, it's divided. That's nice. Oh, it has pockets, okay. It has a little bit of internal organization, which is something I mentioned that I would like to see in their plan B. It has internal organization. The inside is lined with that Trico material. Just like the Plan B that I mentioned, it's kind of like a polar fleece, it feels like. I like these big mesh pockets, that's really nice. Has a dummy loop up here. Really nice touch. Okay, that's really cool. Also, I like this, I like this compression strap right here as well, running kind of through the middle there. And a lot of places to put pouches. But as you can tell, it's, you wear it like this, so the pouches you put on it would be diagonal. Or not diagonal, but um, um, horizontal. Now when it's on your back. But then when you switch it over to your front side, that's when the pouches you would put on this would be accessible. So yeah, keep that in mind. Also, one other thing I really love, I love the giant loop feel they have on the front for patches. Love that. Because I love my patches. All right, so here's where you'd put a water bladder, and also this is, I guess, the uh, the CCW pocket. Oh, wow. Okay, the entire back side here is here again, that kind of, um, feels like that Trico. This is the Trico material, so you can attach anything that's hook and loop. Oh, wow. I love that padding that's back here. It feels like it, it could be insulated, so if you put your water back here, it's not going to get too cold, it's not going to get too hot. It's what it feels like anyway, kind of like an insulator. Wow. Little diamond cushions. It's really soft. Wow. Man, I imagine this is going to be really comfortable. And then any kind of, if you have a firearm back here, it's also going to protect it very well. And um, won't make it bulge out so much when you're carrying this on your back. Because one thing I noticed about the Plan B is that I can carry my little Walther P22, which is a 22 caliber pistol very comfortably, but anything I carry that's slightly bigger, it bulges out and makes it kind of uncomfortable to carry in the CCW pocket anyway. Wow, that is really neat. I cannot wait to put some of my stuff in it and start carrying this around. I'm very excited about this. So yeah guys, stay tuned for some uh, future videos on this. Uh, and if you're a follower of mine on Instagram, you can expect some pictures. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Stay tuned for some more videos later on today. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman 614, peace.